uh, Chair uh, Norton and uh, Ranking Member Graves for organizing this hearing. Uh, 2017 was a record uh, for Chicago and the nation for roadway fatalities. I want to ask a question about emergency braking, but I'd like to preface it with some statistics. According to the federal crash data from the National Highway Tra Traffic Safety Administration, from 2009 to 2017, truck crashes with, in which a truck was rear-ended uh, rear ended a passenger vehicle increased by 50%, despite the availability of new safety technologies like forward collision warning systems and automatic emergency braking that help prevent such crashes. For example, Schneider National saw a 68% decrease in rear end crashes and a 95% reduction in rear end collisions claims since it began equipping collision mitigation systems in 2012. Another company, Conway, conducted an internal study which reviewed uh, AEB, electronic stability control, and lane departure warning. They found a 71% reduction in rear end collisions and a 63% decrease in unsafe following behaviors with the safety features. In fact, some of the most popular truck uh, models like Volvo VNL 760, the Peterbilt 579, the Freightliner Cascadia, the Mack Anthem, and every new international truck now include AEB as standard. Uh, Ms. Mr. Young and Ms. Chase, uh, briefly please, do the uh, Truck Safety Coalition or the Advocates for Highway Safety support requiring original equipment manufacturers to manufacture new trucks with AEB technology? Thank you for the question. Thank you for the question, Congressman. Yes, we absolutely support um, automatic emergency braking as standard equipment. In fact, in 2015, advocates, together with Truck Safety Coalition and some other organizations, petitioned the Department of Transportation to conduct a rulemaking that would require FCAM, also now known as AEB, in all trucks. This is technology that has been proven to be successful, and there's no reason that it shouldn't be in all trucks today. Mr. Young? Yes, uh, while, while the manufacturers indicate that they've made them standard, there's a delete credit. So if a dealer tells the truck to the, the motor carrier who's purchasing a vehicle, hey, I can make it cheaper for you just to delete the AEB. That's why we need an AEB mandate. Because the original equipment manufacturers have made it standard doesn't mean it's getting on these trucks. And it, this, these will truly prevent crashes along with speed limiters and many of the other issues we're talking about. And again, to both of you, thank you for that. Would your organization support legislation that would require all motor carriers to require their trucks be equipped with AEB to use this crash prevention and mitigation technology? Absolutely, because of the fact that you have this front override or front underride, this and along with the underride bill will prevent these crashes. So it's an and okay. both type of a scenario. Thank you. Ms. Chase? Yes, absolutely. We would support that. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, changing gears to trucking insurance uh, minimums. Um, to both of you, again, the cost of medical care and other expenses has increased in the last 40 years as has inflation. Still, no change in four decades has been made to trucking insurance minimums since 1980, and the current insurance cap is 750000 uh, Is that correct? And do you think that the current level of insurance is sufficient to fully compensate families and ensure safety in the event of a crash involving a truck? Uh, uh, and would your organization support adjusting, uh, adjusting truck insurance minimums? Thank you for the question. Uh, the, the insurance minimums are grossly inadequate. As you indicated, it's been nearly 40 years. So the, it was originally set in 1980. If we adjust it to inflation, the minimum insurance should be $2.4 million. In addition to that, the money that is the premium is for the first million dollars or the lower level. It isn't a double in the coverage in order to get double the coverage. So you don't have to pay double the premium to get double the coverage.